I've been here over 23, 24 years working. When I started, I started with the Halls Market in here in the meat department with Tim Hall, which was one of the brothers. There was Lance, Tim, and Michael, and he was the meat cutter, and he finally hired me, and they ain't been able to get rid of me since. My job here at the store is I take care of the fresh meat. You know, I make sure anywhere from the cold meat all the way down to the entrees. You know, we do fresh grinds every day. I try to make sure all the fresh meat's taken care of every day, fresh chicken, pork, beef. You know, we work on entrees. You know, I'll make goulash, shepherd's pie, and cook off chicken, and uh, a lot of people like that. They can come in and it's all ready. All they gotta do is take it home and heat it up. You know, when somebody comes in, in here and comes downstairs, I know what they want before they tell me. I've had some plenty of people come in and they're like, oh, okay, I need this, and I'm like, yep, I said I can get it right for you. There was a old timer that used to come in, uh, Mr. Lucier, Greg Lucier and John Lucier's dad, and every time he come down, I knew exactly what he wanted. He always wanted a whole ribeye cut, and I would tell him what he wanted, and he'd say, well, you know what I want. I was like, okay. He's like, can I wash him? I'm like, yeah, stand right there, get out of the way, and I'll cut it up for you. And there's all kinds of customers that come in and, you know, enjoy that. You know, when they come in, they know they can come down if they want and order what they want and, you know, get, get what they want. And it's stuff like that that keeps them coming back. You know, all kinds of people. You know, everybody that comes in to does services, like the Kiwanis, the Historical Society for their corned beef, the Kiwanis for their big chicken barbecue. You know, I always have it in my head. They always wonder how I remember that. I'm like, well, I don't even know, but I remember what they want and, you know, try to make sure that they get it to help with all their functions. You know, I try to call everybody by their names that I know, you know, socialize with them, talk with them, and, you know, make sure that they get what they want when they come in. I, I don't think you can put a value on it, you know, the, it's just the, the quality of service, you know, that people kind of expect and want, and it makes it easier, you know, and I'm waiting for, you know, hopefully be able to do that same service when the co-op opens it. You know, so that's going to be a, a different thing for that, you know. I've lived here for 45 years and I've been coming to this family-owned market for all of those 45 years, almost every day. And so I know all the people that have been here, all the people that have provided this fantastic, you know, source of working class food, you know? And it's fantastic. The prices are the cheapest you can find in town, which has been a real bonus. The people are very friendly, and they help out, help you with any question you have. They have a pleasant answer. We moved here about five and a half years ago, and um, that's when I started coming to the Village Market. And I like it because it's small, and they have their own little bakery, the butcher, um, and every Friday it's always new sales, which I always come to see what, what's on sale. And then I actually like to get their coleslaw because I hate chopping up <laughs> cabbage <laughs> for my own coleslaw, and it's like convenient having in these little bags. So um, that's some of the things that I like about the village market. And plus all the, all the ladies who work here. Yeah. They're always super nice. Co-op's got great people too. So they're smart, bright. They know the community. It's gonna be really interesting to see this combination. It's just, it's a team effort at the store. Whether it's our team, their team, you know, it's just everybody's got to work together and that's how we've made it work for so long with the right help. You know, I think it's gonna be a change. Some people are, are on the fence about it. They don't want it to happen. Then there's other people that do. They say, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, I can't wait for it. You know, there's gonna be different things they're gonna be doing. They're gonna be putting in a cafe. They're gonna put in a bakery in the back. They're gonna redo the produce case, you know, put a handicapped bathroom upstairs. So there's gonna be a lot of different 
changes, you know, it's going to be different at first. People are, you know, unsure, but I think once they get totally in here and uh, get it all set, I, I think it'll work good.